We know melanoma cancer is the leading cancer in America. What precautions can people take? Obviously, at the festival, they're going to be spending a lot of time outside and doing other summer activities. Yeah, people really have to be careful. You know, there's no, no other carcinogen creates as much cancer as UV rays. And so if you're outdoors, you really want to be careful. Uh, most dermatologists will recommend that you apply sunscreen, either SPF 15 or SPF 30, uh, about 30 minutes before you go outdoors, uh, and that you reapply that sunscreen every couple of hours or so to, to really protect yourself against the UV exposure. Wow. Speaking yeah. of that sunscreen, I know there's a lot of stuff about topical versus spray on sunscreen. Do you recommend one over the other? They can offer about the same level of protection, so it's just a personal preference which, which uh, you know, type of sunscreen you prefer to use. So is there a minimum or a maximum for SPF? So my husband's bald. <laughs> He's like, don't buy anything under 50. I need 100. Yeah. It doesn't matter what, how far you go on SPF. Most people think that above SPF 30, it's not adding that much additional protection. So just in a quantitative sense, SPF 15 will block about 93% of UV rays. SPF 30 will block about 97%. And so beyond that, you're, you know, you're uh, achieving a minimal additional benefit. So at least 30. At least 30. At least 30 yeah. SPF, yeah. everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I love technology. So can you tell us a little bit about what you've developed here? Yeah, well, so you know, applying sunscreen is one aspect of developing healthy behaviors to, to sun exposure. The other is just developing an awareness of the intensity and the level of UV exposure that, you, that you're receiving kind of at an individual level. And so I'm an engineer and we've been interested in wearable devices that will allow a quantitative measurement of sun exposure. And one of the things that we've been able to develop and it's moving into commercial uh, embodiment uh, very soon is a very tiny, probably what is the smallest wearable device ever developed. Mm -hmm. So it's about the size of an M&M, about the thickness of a credit card. Uh, and it continuously measures uh, UV exposure. It has a very tiny antenna that communicates to uh, a cell phone and allow you to precisely determine how much UV exposure you've, you've uh, you know, exposed yourself to at, at any given time dur during the day. So basically, you put this device on your clothes, it's going to measure the amount of sun and tell you, girl, you better get inside. That's exactly right. So it pairs with an app uh, on the phone that's reading this information and providing some indication of risk for sun, sun exposure. And the beauty of the device is not only that it's very small and very lightweight, very non-obtrusive, but it's battery free and it's always on. On. So you don't have to worry about whether it's charged or not, whether you turned it on or not. You just put it on and go. Wow. Okay. I love this, and I feel like I spend too much time in the sun as is. So where can I get one of these? Well, we're working with a, a large company, a manufacturer of sunscreen, to make this available to the broader public. Uh, it will be uh, on the shelves starting in January of this coming year. So we're in the final stages of working with large volume manufacturing partners to get this out uh, into the public where it can be useful. Okay, well, yeah. Dr. Amazing. Rogers, I think you and your team are on to something. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, yeah. thank you. For more information, head to dermatology.nm.org.